Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to control a Raspberry Pi using a Python program which uses a GUI interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a program which I wrote in Python for a GUI application. So what are you going to do? First of all, I'll open Google Chrome and go to this GitHub repository. This, this is the address. Uh, I will make sure to put this address in the video description and what you need to do is download this file right here that's twine.py uh, you can click here clone or download and download zip I, alre I already have this file so I'm not going to do it let me minimize this file so you download this is the file which you get now let me open this using ideally so as you can see this is the program that I wrote. It is a very simple program and contains lots of button. What I what I call it is there is a button active. Now let me run it for you. Okay, so this is the GUI interface through which you can control a Raspberry Pi. As you can see that when I run this program, it says successfully initialized. This means that there is no error when I run it. Okay. Uh, let me minimize it. So as you can see here, this is a 3 volt, 5 volt, which appears on Raspberry Pi, round. So nothing happens when you click on it. This red color buttons are GPI options. Now it's red, so it says that um, the present condition is off. If you turn it on, what you do is just click on it. Just so turn on. It appears green. And then you can do it on any one of them. Turn it again off, click it on once again, and it's off. Very simple. So let's take a look on program. This is a tick inter library which I have used to create a GUI application. This all are tick inter library components. That is this title here, it appears here. This background color which you can see especially this is a black color background now as you uh, there are two main functions which have been called this is uh, this prints successfully initialized when the program starts this is fun button what now what fun button do is this is fun button function I think there are lots of functions inside this fun Button. They are um, buttons generally. So this this button, each button is described in the fun button. When I call fun button, it uh, brings a display onto you. And when I click on any of this, this command function and the lambda one line function call calls on GPIO function. This on GPIO function is similar to what you do turn on or off the GPIO normally. So turns on, turns off, yeah, that's it. Very simple. You can feel free to modify this code, comment your new program on my video. Thank you friends. I think you have enjoyed.